Rhiannon, it must have been heartbreaking. I know that Edward uh, left you just recently, just yesterday, I think. How's the family all feeling since he's gone? Oh, we're, we're just um, completely devastated, um, as you can imagine. Um, although I know a lot of people would think seven weeks isn't very long, um, we just bonded with him straight away. Um, he just was part of the family um, and we, we just really loved him. Oh. And you, you mentioned that he, you knew him from when he was seven weeks old. What, what happened when he went for his 12-week vaccination? Um, we take them, uh, we took Edward to our local vet um, and they're familiar with um, our guide dog puppies. Um, he was our fourth one. Um, so, yeah, took him for his routine 12-week vaccinations. Uh, prior to Edward having the vaccination, the dog, uh, uh, sorry, the vet um, gave him a quick health check um, just to check that he was well enough to have them. Um, he put a stethoscope um, onto Edward's chest and told me that um, he heard a loud heart murmur. Um, obviously, um, we keep guide dogs, um, sorry, we keep guide dogs um, involved with um, everything. So I gave them a quick call and they straight away arranged for Edward to see a veterinary cardiologist in Cardiff mm. um, a few days later. Um, and that was when it was discovered that um, he had uh, severe subaortic stenosis. So it must have been awful to hear that he's got this condition. Did you uh, appreciate at the time, though, Rhiannon, that that would mean that Guide Dogs for the Blind would take Edward to somebody else's family to be cared for? Or did you think that actually you'd still be able to keep him? <clears throat> No, um, I thought that my instant gut reaction was that, you know, I just, I couldn't let him go. Um, I felt that we as a family had started the journey with Edward and we didn't mind that he wasn't going to make it to be a guide dog. We just wanted to see the journey through with him. Um, obviously, um, phone calls were made straight away to make guide dogs aware of Edward's condition. Um, he was straight away started on some medication. Um, and um, I actually met um, up with one of my guide dog supervisors at um, one of the local services um, and she told me that it would probably be a 50-50 chance of whether we would be able to keep him or not. And Lewis, I know that this upset you greatly and probably made you a little bit angry um, and it prompted you to start a petition. Talk to us a little bit about that. I uh, decided to start the petition because I I thought that it'd be a good way a good way to raise awareness and get other people's opinion on what we've gone through together as a family and maybe be able to convince guide dogs that keeping Edward would be the best thing for him for the short time that he has left. And and how many signatures have you had to date? To date, uh, last time I checked, which would have been around an hour ago, 6,335, probably now around 6,700. I'm sure it's going up quite a lot yeah. as we're sitting here mm. talking to 